in this problem, I've got a roller coaster starting from 200 meters high, and then it goes all the way down to ground level, and then goes through a loop, and then over a bump. And I'm interested in knowing when it reaches the top of the loop, what's the speed? So I'm going to put in a velocity vector. That the roller coaster is moving to the left at that moment in time. And I'm trying to get the magnitude of that velocity. So this first question is really a conservation of energy question. I have an initial y value of 200 if I use the ground as my origin. So I have y initial equals 200 meters. And then my y value at the top of the loop well, that's two radii above the ground, and so that's going to be 60 meters. So y final is going to be 60 meters. And it started from rest up there at 200, and it's dropped a little bit lower. That means gravity does positive work, and we take care of that by using a potential energy function. So I'm going to just write down carefully here, E initial equals E final. And in my initial state, it's all gravitational potential energy. I'll write it as PEG initial. And in my final state, I still have some gravitational potential energy because I'm above the origin level, where y equals 0 at the ground. Plus, I have some kinetic energy. And that's how I'm going to get at the speed. So I have mg y initial equals mg y final plus one half m v final squared the m's are going to cancel out so the mass of the cart doesn't matter and i guess i'll just solve this symbolically and then i'll plug in the numbers so if i subtract the g y final from both sides and then factor the g out i have g times y initial minus y final if i then multiply by two i've got v final squared on the right hand side, so I'm going to square root it. And I've got V final. And if I plug in all those numbers, so it's the square root, 2 times 9.8 times 200 minus 60, I get an approximate value of 52.4 meters per second and I'm beginning to suspect this roller coaster isn't safe that's pretty fast um, so that's something in the neighborhood of 100 miles per hour through a pretty tight loop that's going to be a lot of centripetal force so part B let's find the normal force on a passenger with a mass of 60 kilograms so I'm going to do a little bit of force analysis up here I have a passenger in this cart that has a mass of 60 kilograms, and I have gravity pulling down. So it's a little mg, and I also have a normal force because they're on the underside of the track. The normal force pushes down, and so those two forces combined are going to give me the centripetal force that I need to accelerate towards the center of curvature. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this in the diagram that my speed is 52.4 meters per second, so screaming fast. So let's look at Newton's second law applied to this person. F net equals ma, and that's a normal force plus the force of gravity cooperating equals m times v squared over r. So in order to move on this, this circular path with a radius of 30 meters at this speed, the required acceleration is v squared over r. So we get our normal force pretty quick. It's going to be, I'll just go ahead and factor, m times v squared over r minus g. Plugging in my numbers, I get 60 kilograms, and then v squared over r, 52.4 squared over 30 minus 
and I get to three sig figs, 4,900 newtons. All right, just a little follow-up on this. I want to figure out whether or not my roller coaster is anywhere near safe. So one way to do that is to express the normal force in pounds and think about whether or not you'd be okay if you felt that many pounds of force. So a quick Google search gave me something like 1,100 pounds of force. That doesn't really sound very safe. Um, another way to, to wrap your head around it is to express the acceleration there as a multiple of G. And I know that people basically pass out or have some other medical crisis around 10 Gs. So let's figure out what my acceleration really is there. So I'm going to look at the centripetal acceleration. I get 52.4 meters per second all squared divided by my radius of curvature, which was 30. And I get 91.5 meters per second squared. And if I divide that by G, that turns out to be 9.3 Gs. So 9.3 Gs is definitely not safe for a roller coaster, but I think it's a survivable kind of acceleration, but it's of that kind of magnitude that a fighter pilot would experience. 